Good morning everyone, welcome to, what is it, vlogmas number 7. If you follow me on Instagram you all know that this upload is coming your way a day later than anticipated. Um, that's because I had a, one of my 7 day working weeks, so um, yesterday literally nothing happened. I spent the entire day on my desk. I didn't even go on a walk with the dog. But today is a little bit different. I obviously have the day off and tomorrow as well. So I'll be filming one vlog on each day and then uploading them tomorrow and the day after. But today, even though I'm looking outside and it's raining a lot, um, I'll be going to Angel to have my eyebrow sorted. The reason why I'm going all the way to Angel is because my eyebrow technician, I think it's called, uh, it, it, she's there and I've, gone, I've been going to her since 2014. So, you know, it's one of those people that you trust and you let them do their thing, especially because I don't have particularly um, nice eyebrows. I mean, they're very light and they're not that many. So she manages to shape them and if, I always have to fill them in anyway. But I'm sure you're not particularly interested in this. Uh, it's nearly half eleven. I spent the rest of the day, well, the, the, my morning basically, giving a haircut to Poppy. Poppy, come here. She's so lazy. But now she looks like a new dog. Look at this little paws, all nice and tidy. So yeah, I'll be going to Angel, have my eyebrows sorted. I have two presents that I need to pick up, also from Angel, so that's really convenient. The reason why I'm not ordering them online is because, well, one of them, was just a last minute idea and since the shop where I'm collecting it is pretty much right next to the place where I'm going I might as well pop in and buy it there. What I want to make sure I do is avoid any kind of rush hour or busy times on the tube because I do need to get on the Jubilee and Northern line to get there but I think it should be fine if I sort of use the lunchtime times to do that it should be absolutely fine and it should be fairly safe in terms of how the eyebrow situation is going to be done, last time I went it was in summertime so it, it, they had just sort of reopened, no, right after summertime they had just reopened for eyebrows and all that and basically the person doing your eyebrows has gloves and a mask and a shield and you wear a mask, obviously you can't wear the shield yourself. Um, but you wear the mask, but basically there is no direct contact and the fact that they have the shield sort of protects them as well from potential, I don't know eye fluids or whatever it is and there is gloves so it's very safe but yeah I still get a little bit apprehensive living sort of the neighborhood it as I said it's raining so it's not exactly the best <laughs> best day to be out but I'm hoping that sort of deters people to um, be out and about in Islington at this time of day but it should be absolutely fine but yeah I might get a snack before I leave because it's nearly lunchtime and I'm starving <laughs> But yeah, I'll catch you later. Oh, and one thing that is quite important, I'm not going to be bringing the external mic because of the rain. So if you just see images, you know why. There is no voiceover whatsoever. Or if you don't see me, or if you see me on the screen, but you can't really hear me, you know why that's happened. Thank you. Good afternoon everyone. It looks much later but it's actually not, it's just raining yet again. I'm back home. Actually I didn't spend that much time outside um, because of what I'm about to tell you. So first of all, um, just as I was coming home, London, well it was announced that London is going into tier 3 from Wednesday which is in two days. Part of me, I have contrasting feelings about this. I'm really 
happy in a way that we're trying to do more to sort of tackle the pandemic. On the other hand, what I've seen today has really put me in a really bad, sad mood. And I feel like maybe if I share it, if I vocalize what I'm feeling, I might feel a little bit better. And hopefully somebody else who's feeling the same way might feel like they're not alone. But yeah, as I mentioned, I went to my usual salon to have my eyebrows done and as usual they're really like they had gloves and masks and the face shield and customers have to wear masks and honestly eyebrow threading takes less than five minutes so it was all done and dusted and then I I went to run those two errands that I had to run so buying those two little things that I couldn't get online the only reason why I actually bought them is because I was right there otherwise I wouldn't have gone specifically to buy those things but since I was already literally on the same block I decided to buy them <sighs> but the thing is I wear a mask because I want to protect myself and other people but the fact that I wear a mask has very little value if I am the only one doing that but I was generally in many cases the only person in shops to wear masks or on the tube to wear a mask and this is something that generally upsets me because it makes me it really makes me realize that people are not taking this seriously and with so many people dying, so many people in the hospital and everything that we've gone through for the past nine, ten months, how can we, how can we still take this lightly? I don't understand. It is quite disheartening to see how lightly some people are taking this. Obviously I'm not saying that everybody has to wear a mask because I know some people, especially, you know, with certain kind of disabilities might not be able to but that is probably usually I would say it's probably a tiny fraction of the population you cannot tell me that everybody who was on the tube with me today who was not wearing a mask had some form of condition that prevented them from wearing a face mask because then I'd be really surprised yeah I won't I won't be doing that anytime soon again I spent as little time as possible outside and I was really careful and it was quite nice to just be outside the small walls and be away from my neighborhood and I feel like one of the key reasons why I decided that I needed to do this is because I really needed to make myself feel a little bit better physically and mentally and sort of de detaching myself from the everyday life and treating myself to having eyebrows that are in a better shape that sort of helped but yeah mentally today really not a good day I hope you're doing better but um, if you're also sort of going through something like this in terms of struggling to see how we're gonna come out of this coronavirus thing share your thoughts because i think it probably helps to know that there is more than one person that feels the same way as you but yeah so sorry this got really dark and emotional um i haven't cried so that thumbs up plans for the afternoon um uh, absolutely zero other than sort of soothing my broken heart <laughs> and um over the past few days i haven't done any reading so last time you saw me with a stylus in my hands i was a page what page is it 15 and i still am page 15 so i'll be doing some more reading potentially update you on this but yeah i'm i'm going to take it slow now to sort of try regain a little bit of composure inside try to see the positives of the fact that we're healthy we're safe and at least the two of us are fine but it's hard when when you see it's hard when you see certain things it's hard when you see people clearly not taking it seriously yeah it's really hard it's hard knowing that i will not be able to see my family this christmas for the first time in 28 years um it's hard knowing that I don't know when I'll be able to see them again because my parents are in their 50s and my grandparents are luckily still alive and they are very old and the last thing I want to do is be the one who puts them at risk so 
it's a hard it's a hard time but yeah so let's um crack on with some reading i'll make myself a cup of tea to feel better Right, I've calmed down a little bit, not completely. Cup of coffee, no, sorry, cup of tea, book, and to make sure I don't stray away from reading, I've got Kira Foster's Read With Me, the Christmassy edition that she filmed a couple of days ago, or at least she uploaded a couple of days ago. this for a second just to talk about this right how do you feel when you're reading a book it's something that you know has to do with different kind of narration and all that and then one of the character picks up a book that you love because for me it just generally makes me quite emotional like I'm on page 17 so I'm not spoiling anything but the this guy who I suppose is going to play quite a big role because we're focusing on him and I think he's probably the same guy that was a kid um, that I mentioned in a couple of vlogs ago uh, that sort of sees this graffiti on the wall and is tempted to touch it but then doesn't and all that. Um, I, my battery died as I was talking but um, yeah so this guy who I suppose is going to be one of the main characters, the main character, um, yeah who, who's just considering picking up the shadow of the wind or actually blah blah no, actually, he's read The Shadow of the Wind, which um, I actually read, was it in Spanish the first time I read it, or in Italian, I can't remember, but anyway, it's, it's one of those books I generally really, really loved when I was younger, and I still, to this day, I can't remember the entire plot, and it's just such a nice story. But yeah, I thought I'd mention that, but let's get back to reading. <laughs> Let's talk about this. I'm not even 10 pages further than I was when I started reading. I haven't read that much, less than 15 minutes. But the story took an unexpected turn. So, as I mentioned, we're now in 2015. There is this guy who I think is probably going to be one of the protagonists, if not the one protagonist. And as I mentioned before, I thought he was sort of like the older version of the kid that we see in the previous chapter. He agrees with me because he finds this book that doesn't have any author or title, he finds it in his university library, picks it up, curious to discover more about the book, and turns out the book that he is reading is the same book that I've read up until this chapter that just started. So. He's basically read about himself and I don't know how it's going to continue but boy like this, this is a really nice premise for a book and we're just what 23 23 pages in so still very early on we know that the book is called Sweet Sorrows but that's as far as everything goes. We don't have an author, we don't have a plot, don't have a book binding or anything like that. I'm into this so much. And in terms of narration, so very different from The Night Circus in terms of the topics discussed and all that. But the atmospheric writing that Erin Morgison is known for when it comes to The Night Circus, I can definitely see that in the style of C as well. 
so I'm really curious to see how it continues but it just feels so magical and I do wonder I don't know I genuinely wonder where the story is going I don't have any expectations and I love when a book makes me feel like I don't know where the story is going because I'm I'm ready to be transported on a journey you know so I'll, I'll, uh, I'll keep reading it's four o'clock so plenty more time I think I'm going to wrap this vlog here actually because not much is happening. I feel a little bit better. I feel like having a little cry definitely helped in terms of restoring a normal piece of emotions. Um, I don't feel good yet. I don't think I'll feel good for a really long time just because it's impossible to feel good when you know that people are dying. Mm -hmm. And there's very little we can do at this stage, but Hope is the last thing to die, that's what we say in Italian. So I think I'll keep my hopes up in terms of, you know, thinking of a better future. But for today, we'll take the little wins. The little win for today was that I left the house and I was fine and I was safe and I didn't put myself in dangerous situations. I kept my distance, I didn't come into contact with anybody else, managed to get my eyebrows done, which was the whole point of the entire day, and hopefully I'll manage to show you a little bit of Islington. Um, other than that, I'll continue reading The Starless Sea. I might treat myself to a bath, but there is no point to, in me showing you the bath because I don't have any fancy bath bombs or anything like that. I haven't gone to Lush in a year, probably. So... Yeah, this is the end of my vlogmas number seven, if I'm not wrong. Tomorrow there is going to be another video, so as you watch this, you know that within 24 hours there is going to be a second one. I don't know precisely what's going to happen tomorrow. The one thing I know is that luckily we were able to book the winter vet appointment. It's just a checkup and she needs to have one more vaccine um, for this little... Come here, come here, join me, join me, join me, you're so beautiful. Um, She's going to have a vet checkup tomorrow and her little canal cough vaccine, which she didn't manage to do uh, in summertime when she was due the vaccine because of the coronavirus pandemic. And I think there was some sort of link between the spread of coronavirus and the dog having the vaccine. I'm not sure what the link is, but they told me that because the coronavirus pandemic was at that stage, they couldn't do it. But now um, the canal cough is coming back for dogs worse and I know a few dogs around here have actually had it um, so I think she's going to be able to get it tomorrow but yeah so we've got that in the afternoon um, it's not far away it's just a bus ride away and it takes about 15 minutes at most um, but she loves going to the vet right pop so we're gonna go to the vet do you want to go to the vet <gasps> oh I, I might take the camera just to show you something a little bit different I won't show you the vet building or anything like that but there is a nice little park nearby in Dalit right right well yeah that's it for us that's it for today Poppy let's say goodbye goodbye <laughs> goodbye thank you for watching but oh okay okay let's wrap okay thank you bye thank you for watching <laughs>